Well, let's see. It all started back in um, Santa Ana, California, Orange County, 1987. It's when I first picked up my first mic. I used to recite Dougie Fresh, Lottie Dottie every single day when I would walk to school for like at least a month straight. And there's where I knew like my love for hip hop was, was real. Um, I couldn't recall if that was the first song that I ever memorized. I knew a lot of them, but that was one in particular that just stole the show. And then I remember I had the 12-inch vinyl of that. And on the flip side was the show, Dougie Fresh, Slick Rick. I uh, attended Car Intermediate School. Uh, junior high at that time I was in eighth grade and I remember uh, I was at the lunch benches one day and my boy Greg Kimball and Rashawn Mayfield and then of course there was uh, the homie Box. They were a trio and they were rapping at the lunch benches and I remember just uh, watching them do their thing and just go at it and Rashawn would go you know and then you know Greg would go and they just go back and forth and Box would be on the beatbox. It was like that old Bismarcky video, Vapors, like, yo, how can I be down? They didn't treat me like a wet food stamp. They actually gave me an option to, uh, you know, go home and write some lyrics. So they said, look, man, you want to be down, you know, you got to show and prove first. You know, you got to prove yourself as an MC. You can't just, you know, come inside our, our circle here. So I said, all right, bet. So I went home. I wrote me a verse on this piece of paper, grabbed the notebook paper, and um, I just wrote it. And I forgot, I think it went something like, um, my name is Rob, my age is 13, I'm so damn fresh, you should listen to me. I'll come to your party and rock your mic. I'll bust a rap that I know you like. I'll make the girls make them scream and shout because when I'm on the mic, there is no doubt that I'm the freshest, the liveest, the best around. And when you hear my rap, you just hit the ground. How crazy is that? I can't even remember my lyrics nowadays from, from like lighter shade of brown material, but I remember your very, my very first rap that I ever wrote. So anyway, I came back, I read that, and you know, I was down, man. It was the four of us, and you know, we would rock um, junior high school dances. I remember doing a Valentine's Day dance that we had, and my girlfriend at the time, you know, I was more so trying to impress her, eventually falling into a, a talent show contest, and there's where my first time was, actually was on stage rapping. This time around, it was uh, myself, my boy Louis Ortiz, and Fidel, Rios, we did Beastie Boys, Time to Get Ill. Um, it was the coolest thing ever. And I just started getting the feel for like, man, I could do this. Like I really, you know, genuinely love, you know, doing this. So, you know, I, I fell into sports at the time and because what I wanted to be was a, eventually was a professional baseball player, you know, and um, under the sun. I'd been playing little league for about, you know, seven years already. Uh, played on junior varsity to varsity, eventually going to a uh, high school in ninth grade. And there's where I kind of just gave up the pen. You know what I mean? I still, um, you know, was listening to hip hop. That was my, uh, that was my thing. You know, starting to get into trouble as an adolescent, you know, hanging with the wrong crowd and, you know, just making dumb decisions, doing dumb stuff, you know, when you're a kid. You know, the part where I rap about homies, little traviesos that are always into something, you know, stealing 45s and all that, that truly, you know, did happen, you know. We would go to the mall and uh, steal VHS tapes. And I remember I went and I got caught stealing with my boy at the time. I was uh, taking Bobby Brown's, uh, uh, my, was it my prerogative album? And we were, along with like taking VHS tapes and movies, and I thought I was cool, man, until I got popped. And I remember I had the uh, Run DMC, black, you know, black stripes on white Adidas at the time. Well, I wouldn't wear shoelaces. 
In fact, my mom would always scold me, you know. She would say, hey, if I ever catch you without those shoelaces, boy, then you know what I mean? Your butt is mine, basically. So I always made sure to, you know, have the laces in when I got back home. <laughs> but that was a style, like, she didn't understand. To her, it was just ruining the pairs of shoes. When she finally showed up at the mall to pick me up that day, she saw my shoes, and she was more pissed off about the damn shoes than she was me. Yeah, it, it was just the icing on the cake that day, let's put it that way. So Santa Ana is where I learned my, my roots, my hip hop, for the love of music. And it wasn't until uh, my sophomore year, I moved to Riverside, which was the Inland Empire. And that's where I reside now. And been here since 89, 90. But I remember I brought my paper and I started rapping. And I just said, blah, 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 I was going at it. Well, he had zero pay. He had nothing. He just had it off the dome. I just remember the first bars that he said something like, 